Hello! In um, one of our previous tutorials, I have showed you how to create simple animation based on a character sprite sheet. So this is 2D animation. Here let's uh, preview it. And just to remind us how we are creating this animation, let's create another one. Uh, walking down and then maybe walking up. First of all, we select our character and then we press on this drop down list and create a new clip. Go to our animations folder and then let's call it character walk down. Press save. Uh, grab these um, four sprites and just drop them in here. And let's just spread them out. Let's do like 5, 10, 15 and finish everything with um, sprite 0 at 20. Playback. Looks alright. Quickly let's do the same for the walking up animation. Create new clip, name it up, 12, 13, 14, 15, drop them in, spread them out, 10, 15, and once again number 12 goes to 20. Press play, and now our character goes up. Save the scene, and also let's save the project, because animations they are like part of the project. We are good to create character controller, a very simple one. To work with character controllers we need to um, select our character, find the animator component and in animator component we are interested in this controller. When we are creating the very first animation for character, Unity will create a character controller automatically. Well this name is based on this on a sprite we drop down so let's rename it to D character animator. If we want to tweak this, we need to open animator window. To do that, we go to window and find animator right here. I have placed my animator at the bottom of the screen because I just prefer it this way. Select our character and it has active animator you will see that uh, our animator window has several like buttons like this. They are actually nodes and each of them represent a certain animation. This is actually some sort of state machine and it's uh, called Mechanim and in Unity and um, the purpose is to switch animations, to do different blending between them based on conditions and uh, yeah, the system is very sophisticated and allows you to do a lot with character animations. Uh, we are going to check the very simple stuff today. Uh, you notice that um, one of these nodes is orange and these two are grey. This orange means that this is default. So whenever we start game, in fact let's just do that, you will see that uh, first we start at entry and then we go to our default node. And then Unity will just keep playing this animation in a loop. If we want to, for example, go, let's call this um, walk right. And um, if we want to go left, we actually already have walk left animation. So uh, now we can walk right. And we also have uh, walk left animation from previous uh, lesson. Let's just drag it in here. And now, um, let's create a simple uh, 2D locomotion. So the way it works, you can create conditions and you can create connections. So first let's just uh, see how this sequence works. We can create uh, transitions. To do that we just right click on the node and then make transition and then click on the one you want to make transition to. So let's just make a simple cycle like so, and press play. So now he goes right, down, left, up. When you are making character controller, your character can switch in any direction. So he can walk right, he can walk left, he can walk uh, up. So now it becomes a little bit more complicated. In order to have a very good and clean uh, transitions, let's create an empty state, which will be our default. We can also create an idle, but for now let's just create an empty one. To do that we right click on this area, press create and then press empty. Let's just call it empty. 
select these arrows and press Control delete or command delete to get rid of them and now let's make this empty state our default one right click set it to their default state now whenever we press play our character will just do nothing because there is no animation and let's create transition to right and back to left and back same for up and same for down so what would be the condition for our character to walk basically right or left or up or down usually you will want to use some sort of parameters and here on the left you will see that we have two tabs layers and parameters layers we are not going to touch just yet uh, because they are more interesting for 3d characters but parameters is something of interest let's create a condition let's say we have a float which is um, horizontal horizontal speed and currently it's zero and then let's create another float which will be our vertical speed let's also keep it at zero for now so just now we had this cycle which worked because we had this has exit time which means animation will finish playing and then like this is our one cycle here our walk cycle animation will finish playing and then goes to empty state so as you can see here we finish walking but now if we get rid of a, of this has exit time unity will give us an error it will say that transition needs at least one condition or an exit time to be valid otherwise it will be ignored so in our case we don't need this has exit time we need to we need animation to stop immediately as soon as we um, press any button like walk right or left we don't want him to have any delay or inertia or anything what we want is if our horizontal speed is higher than zero then we want to walk right if it's lower than zero then walk left same for up and down this is our character walk right so here is our conditions um, let's create one because currently list is empty press this plus and then we can see horizontal speed is greater than zero this is all very good um, let's press play and um, see what happens let's bring animator over here and now we can see that animator is playing the empty state character is not moving let's increase horizontal speed to one and our character walks right very good however if we press horizontal speed back to zero he keeps walking right why is that well it turns out mechanism does not allow you to create condition where you are checking equals to zero so you can see horizontal speed greater than zero but you can only select greater or less in order for that to work we need to set it greater than 0 0.1 now if we say horizontal speed is 1 he will be walking we need to set return condition let's set it, set it less than 0 0.1 and then he will return okay so uh, condition for going into walk right animation greater than 0 0.1 condition for going left is less than 0 0.1 let's check that press 1 he's walking press 0 he stopped very good now we just need to replicate the same scenario for walk left just we have to invert it so if horizontal speed is less than minus 0 0.1 then we want to engage this animation if it's greater than minus 0 0.1 then we have to return to empty state let's do the same for the walk up only in this case we are going to use vertical speed if vertical speed is greater than 0 0.1 then engage in this animation if it's less than 0 0.1 then basically go back to empty and real quick same for going down if vertical speed is less than minus 0 0.1 then 
go to this animation and if vertical speed is greater than minus 0.1 then go back let's quickly check that one here minus one here and then one here and then minus one here if we have two uh, conditions like this minus one minus one then unity will just check one by default they both are true if we had eight directional movement we could set this condition as well but for now it's uh, it's good enough hope uh, this was helpful and um, see you on the next tutorial